Trek? Something terrible has happened. Merlin has captured Princess Fiona. But you can rescue her by going on a quest! Let me introduce you to your foe! This former court wizard doesn't jest when it comes to evil. Kings tremble and kingdoms fall when he's in town. But working with royalty hasn't spoiled this sorcerer. He still enjoys messing up the lives of common folk and tormenting the innocent. He's the meanest magician this side of Duloc Hills, Merlin! And just what every sorcerer needs, a place to get away and really let loose. This hideous tower, nestled among the black craggy rocks of the northeast, is secluded so the neighbors won't complain of the screams. It also features dark stormy clouds illuminated by spooky lightning flashes. This is Merlin's Dark Tower Fortress of Pure Evil! Surrounding this fortress is a foul fog that Merlin has conjured to hide his wickedness. Only by performing good deeds will you be able to push back the fog and find Merlin's tower. This book of good deeds, bound in the finest leather-like material, will guide you to goodness. And if you jump into my magic mirror, I will teleport you to the places where good deeds are required. Tell you what. Meet me over at the training grounds and I'll get you ready for your trip! Use the right thumbstick to change your view. Pull and hold the right trigger to get a closer look. Okay, meet me at the ogre training pits. Hey, Shrek! Come up here! Jump towards the wall. When you Well done! I'll meet you in the combat arena. Let's get started. Jump down into the pit. Press Y to punch. Great. Now try- Well done. You can grab your enemies by pressing- Good work. Okay, meet me in the fire pit. To fill your gas meter, expel some gas by pressing the black button. You can stun your enemies by expelling gas upon them. Try it out. Eat a chili pepper and good! Now try lighting your gas cloud on fire. Good! Now try lighting your gas cloud on fire. Good! Now try lighting your gas cloud on fire. Excellent! You can also create an a great. You're ready for anything now. Go back to the house and jump into the mirror. Pull and hold the left trigger to run. Press A to perform a long jump while Come running. On. Jump! gingerbread man anxiously hobbled over to Shrek. Shrek, he shrieked, am I glad to see you. We have had our share of problems here in Sweetsville lately. Those factory whistles are driving me crazy. Please give them a good punch or kick and shut them off. Watch your back, though. The factory workers might try to turn them back on again. Shrek stumbled across a poor candy citizen hunched over and moaning in pain. What's wrong? Shrek asked, sensing the possibility of a good deed. It's that Frankendrop guy, he moaned. 
he's been swindling all the workers out of their lunch money. He bet me I couldn't throw him out of the ring three times in a row. The last thing I remember is stepping into the ring. Then everything went black. Shrek, you must help us win our money back. Throw Frank and Drop out of the ring three times. The factory foreman seemed panicked as he explained his problem to Shrek. It's been an incident in the cotton candy wing. One of my workers has fallen into the cotton candy spinner and I can't get him out unless we shut down the power. Shrek, go into the power station and knock out the generator so I can rescue my worker. Careful though, the factory workers will try to turn it back on. Hold them off long enough for me to get my man out of trouble. I'm trying to work here. Hey, you put me down. The factory foreman appeared aggravated as Shrek approached. Some gumdrop punks with slingshots have been vandalizing my factory. Do me a favor and kick them into the giant cement tubes while standing on one of the flushing units. Okay, Shrek shrugged. That'll lock them up for a while. The foreman nodded and winked. Shrek gave another shrug and began his search for the slingshot vandals. Very nice. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha 
Little Bo Peep ran to Shrek with tears in her eyes. You must help me, she cried. All my sheep have escaped from their corral. Please put them back in. Sounds like a good deed to me. I'll do it, Shrek exclaimed as he set off to find the woolly critters. The great gander seemed delighted when he spotted Shrek. Boy, could I use your help, he exclaimed. My egg kids have been tricked by that wicked Humpty Dumpty character. He's teaching them how to fall off walls. I'll save them, Shrek offered, eager to take on a good deed. Great, I'll be waiting up on the hill by Humpty's wall. If you can get them all in my nest, I can keep them safe.
As Shrek approached the large blue barn, Old MacDonald swung open his door with anger. That stupid cow. Every night she jumps over the moon and dances in my cornfield. I can't sleep at night. Shrek, do me a favor and pass some gas on her when she's out dancing. That'll teach her a lesson. I'm on my way, Shrek exclaimed. Wait, cried the farmer. She only shows up when the moon is out. If you give the clock's face a good punch, that will turn the sky tonight. Mother Goose seemed quite upset as she spoke to Shrek. All the king's horses and all the king's men have been sleeping on the job again, she declared. I've had reports they've been falling asleep during the night shift when they should be on the lookout for wolves. Punch the clock face and you'll see what I mean. Please do the whole town a favor and wake up all the sleeping guards before sunrise. Okay, I think I can do that, replied Shrek confidently. <laughs> Shrek approached a group of peasants, all looking fearfully over their shoulders. You must help us, he cried. Those darn crazy witches have been harassing us non-stop. They're too darn fast to catch with pitchforks. But I'll bet one of your famous gas clouds would stop them dead in their tracks. Then you'll have a chance to get your hands on them. Please stop the wicked witches and beat some sense into them. Uh. The graveyard caretaker ran to Shrek for help. Shrek, you must go down into the crypt. There are some nasty vampire bats infesting the place. Please, clear them out for me. Shrek smiled. Some pesky bats? No problem. He marched off to the crypt. Uh. Huh? <gasps> 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 
young boy tugged on Shrek's vest. He looked up with tears in his eyes. Shrek, sir, it's about all the skeletons wandering about. They scare you? You want me to pummel them? Shrek began to roll up his sleeve. No, the boy shouted. All they want to do is dance. I love to watch the skeletons dance. Shrek looked puzzled. The boy continued. The stereo system is on the fritz again. Give the speaker a good kick and bring the skeletons over so they can hear. That'll get things rocking. Please, turn on the tunes and get the skeletons dancing. Uh.
Little Miss Muffet was shaking like a leaf. Spiders, spiders everywhere! She looked over her shoulder and then back at Shrek as her eyes widened. There are baby spiders crawling around everywhere! Her voice began to rise hysterically. You must return them to the mama spider and get rid of them or my skin is gonna crawl off! Shrek smiled politely and nodded as he slowly backed away. Uh. One of the castle's creepy little jesters approached Shrek. Prince Charming has stopped laughing at our tricks. If we don't get some fresh material soon, we're all going to be out of work. I know how you can help. If you ignite one of your stinky gas clouds right at our feet, that will send us flying into the air. If that doesn't get a laugh, I don't know what will. Bring each of the jesters into the throne room, then it's showtime! Oh. Oh. Uh. 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 Uh.
The princess was very cross. She shook her finger as she told Shrek about the prince. That lazy sod sits on his throne and does nothing but watch jesters all day. I've had enough. Shrek, please help me. Get his royal butt up into my room so I can have a word or two with him. Ooh. Oh, that's her, that's hers. Oh. Put me down. Ow. The princess was looking a little squeamish as she told Shrek about her problem. Giant weed rats have infested the castle. We've tried to toss them out, but they keep coming back. Please get rid of them once and for all. No problem, Shrek replied. I've cooked many a weed rat in my day. I'll cook up these critters, too. I was screaming. Yeah.
A frail dungeon prisoner crawled to Shrek, begging for help. Please, you must help us. Toss all of the prisoners out of the dungeon window so that we might find freedom. Freedom! <clears throat> Kick me out the window. Kick me out the window. Stop. Kick me out the window. Kick me out the window. Kicking 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 me out the window. Kicking me out the window. Kicking me out the window. The chief engineer approached Shrek with caution. Are you working for that ice cream queen? Uh, who? replied Shrek. Look, never mind. We have a big problem here. The ice cream queen has turned off all the pressure release valves. This whole thing's gonna blow unless someone turns all of those valves back on. I'll help, Shrek exclaimed, snapping up the opportunity. Okay, all the red valves must be hit. Thanks, replied the chief. Oh. Uh. Yeah. 
Shrek found one of the engineers quivering in a dark corner. Er, uh, what's up? Shrek asked awkwardly. It's those ice cream guards. They've been attacking us every opportunity they get. Someone needs to straighten them out. If you could toast them with your fiery breath, I think they'd reconsider their violent behavior. Uh-huh. I can take care of that, Shrek replied. Oh!
You must help us, demanded one of the engineers. With the ice cream guards causing all this chaos, I've lost track of my team. They could be anywhere in these darn sewers. Please, save them and bring them all back to the research station. Shrek winked and reassured him. Don't you worry. I'm an expert at this sort of thing. I'll save your friends. Hmm. <laughs> Finger tough. Uh, drop me, please. Drop me, please. Drop me, please. Drop me, please. Uh, drop me, please. Uh, drop me, please. Uh, drop me, please. Drop me, please. Uh, 
dropping. Shrek grabbed one of the ice cream guards and gave him a good shake. Hey, stop! It's the ice cream queen! She's the one to blame! She was trying to cause the molasses sewers to explode! Why would she do a thing like that? Shrek asked, puzzled. Her ice cream castle is right above this spot. When everything blows up, it will spread sweet molasses everywhere. The queen will have the sweetest kingdom in all of Sweetsville. Oh, I see, replied Shrek. I believe that defeating an evil tyrant queen counts as a good deed. She's toast! Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, oh. interesting. The water trickles yeah. down. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. The young dragon looked at Shrek pleadingly. Shrek, you must help me. Today is the Great Dragon Festival, and I'm supposed to light all the golden dragon pots, but I've come down with a nasty cold, and I can't breathe fire. Shrek thought about it for a moment. First, he could expel some gas over the dragon pot. Then he'd need a source of fire to ignite it. Okay, this could actually be fun. I'd be glad to help, Shrek exclaimed cheerfully.
A reluctant and slightly charred knight approached Shrek cautiously. Please help us, um, sir. My men are running in fear. Please stop these baby dragons from breathing fire on my knights. I'll bet if you could find some water to douse them in, our problems would be solved. Oh. Shrek stumbled across a young boy sitting beside an inflatable pool. He was crying, but seemed to brighten up when he saw Shrek. Hey, you're that ogre that helps people. Help me, help me. The great moat has been drained in honor of the Dragon Festival. You must save all the poor little fishies at the bottom of the moat. Bring them up here and put them in my pool. I'll take care of them until the festival is over. Oh. Huh. 
One of the locals ran to Shrek as soon as he saw him. That stupid cow is back, and it's worse than ever. She's up there in the guard tower dancing all day and all night. You must get rid of her. The magic mirror has a message for Shrek. Merlin has conjured up a posse of evil fairies and has commanded them to commit random acts of evil. It would count as a good deed if you could capture them all and put an end to their malicious behavior. Capture all the evil fairies. Mirror, you use some pretty big words, commented Shrek. <laughs> Ooh. 
I was spraying.
Of the jesters today. Excuse me, have you seen my little friends? They're like me, only smaller. <laughs> I'll make you sorry you're ever born. 